before we end, I wanted to get from you guys each the thing that you think is the most likely to happen that isn't kind of already common knowledge. So you can't say Andrew Garfield and Toby are going to show up in this movie Mm -hmm. because that's obvious. But what is the other than that? Because that's actually the only one that's like super duper obvious that like hasn't been confirmed. Yeah. But we know it's going to happen. So other than that, what are you like? This is for fucking sure going to happen or I really hope it's going to. Dicks for eyes. Hmm. You go first. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I've already said it. Like, I think for sure we're going to get, like, the death of Aunt May. I think we're going to get a very important death, if not many important deaths. I think it's going to be what sets him on that, on that I will keep moving forward type thing. Mm-hmm. And honestly, you could be right. Aunt May dies. Um, Aunt May dies. Happy gets hurt in the process of it really badly. Ned dies, but he doesn't really die. We just think he's dead. But he goes on to become Hobgoblin, and everyone's memory of who Peter Parker is, who Spider Man is, is erased. And Happy wakes up having no clue who Tom Holland is, like having no clue who Peter Parker is. Aunt May's dead. He doesn't have MJ. He doesn't have Ned. And now he's all alone. And this is the first time that Peter Parker has to be on his own. Something he learned from the other two Spider-Men during their time there. The next installment's just going to be a rescreening of the butterfly effect. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was I just, I, that it would have been funnier like 20 seconds ago, but I was like <laughs> You didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. I, I just, I, I, mine is pretty much a 75% overlap with yours. Um there's some differences there, but overall, yeah. Mine bases on what I just said. I think he's going to be erased from memory. So I think there's no way home. He doesn't have a home anymore. There is no Aunt May to come home to. There is no Happy to lean on. There is no MJ and Ned to confide in. There's no way home. He's got to move on and do something. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the MIT train is squashed. I think all of that, like, I think the next trilogy will be his college years. But he's not going to MIT. He's not going to he MIT. Goes to, he goes to Brooklyn University, I think. Yep. And, I, yeah, there's always the chance, and I don't know that I, I don't know that this is my favorite theory, but there is always a chance they look at this and, and they're like, we can't do a nine-part, three-part th- trilogy with Tom. It's not going to work. This is going to be the last we have of him. Let's skip college. Let's. He's a smart, brilliant kid. We don't have to prove that he has to go to college. Let's skip the college years and let's have him where he ends up. Maybe he loses Ned or MJ forgets who he is. The MIT plan is gone. Maybe he chooses not to go to college. Maybe we go straight into a trilogy of him or as him. an adult. Hey, hope you enjoyed that clip. Full episodes of the Small Stuff Podcast are available on YouTube and wherever it is you get your podcasts. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, all the things. Links in the description. We'll see you later.